This conference, this conference will now be will recorded. Now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. I work for different industries, like say mill industry, the uh, automobiles, chemicals, mining, rope making, uh, life sciences. These are a few to name. And also I have been uh, with, with the multiple, say big four companies uh, in the implementation phases for, for their many repetitive clients. Yeah, coming to the the sessions right there are three important aspects how our sessions have been classified into gap analysis sessions training content c user stories i would brief about each of them and then probably let us try to understand the essence of it gap analysis sessions all the prerequisites which are needed for us to really take it up uh, to the real topics is under is being detailed under this gap analysis sessions so if you ask me a question ragu do we need to have any uh, you know prerequisites to follow to fulfill before we take this session uh, in the awareness of sapi bp no the answer is no because those are all you know uh, understood by us or they, they are discussed by us under this gap analysis sessions, right? All the prerequisites, maybe we speak about architecture, maybe we speak about how as a client, why am I going to use IBP? What are the different monetary benefits I'm going to find as a client when I'm going to use IBP? All of these discussions will fall under the gap analysis sessions. Once we have very much comfortable with this gap analysis sessions, we will start with the training contents. So my coordination team will send you a Word document. Maybe you can, let me know by respond as yes. If you have already received the training content, is it yes for any of them, Suresh or Chandrasekhar? No, no, you received any word of them? Okay, so you will receive it by end of the day. So you can go through it. So it is a difference for you to understand what are the topics of discussion would be under this training content. So most of our association uh, with the, you know, the inclination towards more with the Demand planning and SNOP modules, sales and operations planning are the modules which will be more focused on when we are when we are looking at SAP ABP. So you may say Raghu, but there are there other modules like like inventory is there, response is there, supply is there, uh, supply chain control tower is there. Supply chain control tower, demand planning, and SNOP are the three major modules which are mature in the models, matured models, and which have been used very extensively by the clients. So those will be covered by us. So how about the others like response, supply, and inventory? We will touch base them, but uh, these are more you know evolving in the nature. You know, for every three months there's a release coming up. You know that IVP is going to come with for every three months a new release coming up because they are trying to improvise these modules more and more. So these are still evolving in the nature, so we will just take an awareness on them. And also, there is, you know, as you progress further, we will know that okay, there is a lot of other important essential factors like you know the connection to the S4 HANA system or maybe an ECC or or any other OLTP system. What the client is looking for, all those things are needed for me in the response planning. Those all details we will we'll speak about, but our more of most of our uh, discussions will be deep diving into the modules of supply chain control tower demand planning and SNOP, sales and operations planning. Is it okay with you? Or you have any questions on that? Please respond yes, no, or any, uh, uh, you are clear, we can go ahead. Training no. contents, okay, yeah. So then we have the other important topic, user stories. So we will speak about different features, functions, or methodologies, what we are going to use it under this, uh, the training contents point of view. And then we relate to a real-time problem statement of a, play, of a different planners or different players who are involved in the context of planning. And then we will try to correlate them, how these user stories are built and how the solutions can be built across. So that's the user stories. Gap analysis sessions, training contents, and user stories. Are we clear with these three aspects of our sessions or any question? You would also be talking about some basics, basics, basics of uh, 
how this EB, IBP evolved, right? Gap analysis sessions that falls into gap analysis session. Obvious. Okay. 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 Obvious. Yes. Was it Chandu who has spoken, uh, who raised this question? Chandu Yeah. Yeah, yeah Chandu Yeah. Yes, 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 Chandu Shekhar. So yes, uh, we will be speaking about them for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So coming to, uh, you know, the, the the SAP IBP is not, you know, as an on-premise solution now. It's a cloud solution. So you would not be able to get an IDS system for your practice. I think you are already aware of it. Is that yes? Suresh and Chandrasekhar, are you aware of that? Yeah, we are not Yes. Yes. So to to make it more clear for you, to make it more, uh, you know, uh, essentially, uh, say probably. add any value addition, probably we would use a system, which is one of the aspirants system for visualizing it. And it, it, it could have a very high confidential information. So it's a very sincere request that you should not propose that data in any forms in your client discussions, nor to your colleagues. Is that okay with you? Because, you know, to just to ensure that you are making so because when i go with only theory right probably it would be difficult for you people so right? one more so, point like, one more um just uh, one more point one more attendee has joined do you know you you are there i'm i'm there please yeah yes okay yeah one more person has joined i just wanted to yeah. let him yeah i'm listening so nice thank you May I know who, may I know the name of this person, the new join in Joiny, please? If you do not mind. Jinoy. 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 Okay. Sorry, correct me if it is not right. Yeah, it's J-I-N-O-Y. J -I -I no awesome. Yeah. So the the, the system which is going to be uh, you know, showcased for a better visualization purpose. It requires uh, your affirmation that it will not be used by you in any of your trainings, nor with your any of your further discussions to the clients. And so it is only for your understanding. Okay. The reason being, this has a confidential information, right? So I could just continue with a normal theoretical explanation but to give you that impact to give you that uh, you know visualization treat visual treat we are trying to add system flavor to it and to, for that we are taking the help of other consultants system so you would be only given an access to view the recordings but not a download we want to give it as a very clear instructions because as is, as i said that it, it has a very huge confidential information so are you okay with this because you do not have idea system so we, we are trying to take us let us take to just to ensure that you are gaining a lot of experiences and a lot of knowledge in, in our session so we are trying to add this additional topic by taking the other aspirants system for usage are you okay with this? Are any questions you have? Uh, see, uh, how, then uh, the hands-on knowledge is quite important, right? So is there any way around where we can get the system and uh, get an option to play around with the system? <laughs> because the theoretical stuff gets on top of the head very easily so until and unless we do it and practice it there is something which to be looking for is there something which we can arrange or you know a glitter part or something like that is it possible you will get an uh, sap system for access it charges around three and a half lakhs inr so that's the cost of it and you know the, the access would be only for 25 days and this is the reason behind why no, none of the any training providers could be able to give you that. 
and this is if you really want to get it you don't have to you know go to some people you need to just go to sap learning hub access and there from there you can get it. this is the only one access the way how you can get it there is no other shortcuts because this is a cloud environment you do not have any idea system Is that okay? Jinoy and Chandrasekhar and Suresh. Yeah, but that, that's the main point, right? So if we don't have any other options, um, we need to see that what is what would be the better option. Um, but at least we should get uh, some kind of hands on. Okay how do we make it that is the expectation but still you know we may uh, let's continue with our um, you know discussion and that part we'll discuss with uh, naveen on that so let's see okay. how we can sure sure yeah. we can do that so <clears throat> so let's come to the, the the topic again back yeah so you would get trainer narrated documents you would get some important standard configuration documents cookbooks as a part of uh, different documents for your reference as you proceed with the sessions okay any questions okay yeah yep, that's fine <clears throat> awesome so apart from this you would have a few assignments wherein upon the completion of recordings uh, which you have gone through a small so i would say it's you know to just to you know encourage to, to bring the spirit of our learning a small quizzes are conducted wherein you try to you know utilize your uh, your thought process of understanding a scenario and how you can do it for example i'm just you know because you, you people come with a sap background i believe from all of you so maybe if i say what is the transaction to see material master so you say mm03 ragu so so that, that you know it so in a similar fashions maybe some one small one liner questions will be there so that it encourages you to understand okay this were the topics we have discussed and this is the additionally uh, you know how comfortable am i if you, you feel that okay this is what not a right answer i have choose maybe i will revisit my recording and i will verify it and i will come back something like that right that's a small quiz which we uh, encourage for our students uh, aspirants uh, as a process of our learning process and it's, it's optional it is not a mandate it is purely optional you could say okay we, we, we are okay with this or we are not okay with this you can just opt for it or not okay that's the traditional option what we are providing to our aspirants okay so uh, then coming to this very important question so why sap ib so let's try to understand this at a at a higher audience view so why sap ibp okay let me hear from each each from each of you starting with suresh hey suresh can you can you think about it why sap ibp what can be the quick advantages oh. client is using for sap ibp so again, again it is um, if you look at it in the very holistic perspective this will be an um, planning component so where can the driver point should be in a demand orientation as well as in um sales orientation let's say as we as we covering a demand planning and uh, sop right sales and operation planning so in the larger view uh, or bigger view i would say that how 
if we can make a optimization in the planning components uh, across all supply chain. So more on because we are not going to cover in terms of um, the any financial component in this right. More on the supply chain part. So how do we make the um, better visibility of the what would be the future uh, planning capabilities for the supply chain areas. So this is what is the understanding that I have. Very good. Appreciate yep. it. Then the Jinoy. Jinoy, what was it? What's your catch? What's your, what's your thought process? What do you say? Uh, uh, what what I am it? basically uh, looking for, uh, what the clients, customers looking for my MVP is that, you no, know, since since the uh, supply chain is very dynamic in nature, no more a static with uh, you know fixed set of algorithms and stuff like that. So it's very dynamic. So uh, with re with reference to the new supply chain demands, how SAP can you know help in 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 the dynamic planning aspects of it. So I presume that that would be whether it's whether it's an MTO or a, uh, MTO or a make to make to M order scenario. How you are planning your forecast, your sales can be your past sales, your history, the market analysis. Uh, you know the uh, customer demand, uh, supplier demand, or how all those things can be pitched in and put it in the system to provide a better visibility either for manufacturing or for sales or for the entire business units. So that's what uh, an end-to-end -end kind of a visibility from a planning point of view for an organization. That would be the outcome of what uh, SAP IBP would uh, you know, give it to the other other modules. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's yes. Perfectly fine. So, of course, I have added a few more insights accordingly. We can discuss about it. Yeah. Let me also hear from Sindhu Yeah. Uh, not much. Uh, think, yeah, not much on uh, background. I only know okay. that it is a very important uh, planning tool. And now I think we have mm -hmm. some advanced uh, features in IPP. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So, additional to this, um, you know, the cloud adopter technology, cloud based solution it is so why what, what is the you know benefits for the client uh, why is he going for cloud he, then what are those things i will also explain you there uh, additionally then there it is cell based planning or excel ms excel okay it is excel ms excel so you can just yes, talk about what would be the underlying um, systems. So it should be an S or HANA, or is it in different systems? What is the the, the architecture roadmap for that? So that will give us better. Yeah, of course. I'm going to speak about it. As you know, as, as yeah. you have said, you that under gap analysis sessions, okay. we will yeah, surely sure. speak. So uh, I think we we are clear with this aspect. Right? Of course, when we really start with our session, we would die with from here from our gap analysis sessions yep, that's fine yeah okay so yeah so just we're just trying second, to make uh, it a little louder one question just on that on that part um uh, see uh, uh sorry your good name sir ragu ragu right okay sir uh actually my question is uh, so, is it uh, IBP only suited with uh, S4 HANA or how uh, is it can be integrated with uh, ERP as well, ECC as well? Yeah, I, I, we, we will go for the discussion. Surely we will go for okay. the discussion. So, mm -hmm. we will also know how it is able to do it. So, but we are, we are taking it at a high level first. Why SAP mm -hmm. IBP? Why is client looking for SAP IBP? What makes it? To think about SAP IBP. So you you take you pick a client who is using IBP. If you would have asked him like what made you to you know influence you to use implementation of IBP. So we are taking those additional points. And of course, mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the details of system, the configuration, how it is able to do, what what are the different other in, additional in, insights in that. And I will, I'm going to speak about that. We are just firstly trying mm -hmm. to understand at a high level why SAP mm -hmm. IBP. Right? So it's, a, it's a very big question. Firstly. Mm -hmm. It's a very open-ended question. Then, probably, then we will deep dive into the. These are like additional little granular things. Like when I say about S4 HANA integration and all, it is more about integration capability of it. But firstly, why am I using IBP? I have I already have APO approved solution, which is working, right? Why not APO? 
you may say it's getting setting it's going to set off uh, early, uh, maybe somewhere in 2024 25 so it's okay maybe 25 is still three years of time why should i immediately implement sap ibp so there, there can be some strong reasons behind right that makes the client to think about it so we are, we are speaking about that first and then probably yes of course we will speak about in the continuation of execution point of view so how are they going to do that how why integration is needed that all things we will speak is it making sense hello yeah yeah so of course yes to also mention integration to multiple systems or different systems additionally what are the different systems and what is that factoring and about those we will speak about it okay now let us start with the architectural point of view then I, i'm going to answer this question for you also like is it only s4 hana or is it only uh, you know uh, ecc or any other system now it's a very broader space for the sap so sap cannot say that you uh, so it is not normal in the way like if you want to implement apo advanced running on optimization probably you need to know you, you need to use ecc system only that was a big constraint for the for the clients if they want to use planning as a as a separate uh, if, if so sap is now you know, it is trying to make it as a smaller modules like if, if they want to sell ibp it can be it can sell it for the client who is already using some other erp solution like jd edwards maybe microsoft dynamics or maybe uh, so informatica so any other different tools what they are using in the context of the execution they can still continue with that but for additional context of planning as a different layer for the planning point of view to enrich that sap can still sell ibp now so that's the very important say the change in the framework what they have bought when i compare it with what we used to earlier have it as, as ecc and apo as the architectural point of view are we getting it firstly okay yeah. are, are, are we clear yeah so yes now i will use this drawing option for better illustration purpose sap ibp is a standalone system so it doesn't require you know to be you know it, it needs to be connected only to sap system no that's not the case it can be connected to a non legacy system and non sap system or maybe a system which has some other ways of storage process maybe like say like html soap are any one of them are aware of this soap process soap systems xml html mm -hmm. Yeah, heard. So the web pages what we are using, uh, right? The web pages what we are using to so when you go to an Amazon an e-commerce site, the moment you set yourself registered customer, you you will maintain your name, your phone number, your address, which will be used for your shipping of your products. All of this they are getting stored in some of the other database. You agree, right? Because the moment you log in, you will see your name and you will see all of those things. Right, that means there is a storage purpose for that also. So IBP can be connected. So if I say this is my IBP box, I think you are able to see my screen. Please confirm, someone. Yeah. IBP. Yes, right. yes, we can see. Yeah. So this is my IBP system. Let us say. So this can be connected to an HTML page, uh, or HTML source SOAP system, or it can be connected to an SAP system. When I say SAP system, obviously. it can be your ecc or s4 hana ecc system it can be or it can be the new box of s4 hana also so how it is able to do that what are the different capabilities of it we are going to speak about it however but just to get your question clear so as i said it, it is not just only about one single box it may have a dependency now to do the accurate level of planning or to a very high extent of planning it may have to collate it may have to collaborate with different systems so it is possible now for us so ibp with sap s4 hana system html page and also maybe some other legacy system so legacy system like maybe you say uh, one with fi file transfer protocols right so ftp we say so even those type of systems if they are connecting they can do that ftp so any of the systems can be connected to ibp so now it is a standalone system 
it's no more like a way how it used to be as an apo box right you, you you strongly need an ecc system for you to make your data processing so you had a restriction there you had a limitation there do you get it now how ibp is as a framework it is different so how are we going to do it how is the integration happening the capabilities of it that we will understand additionally but for, firstly the difference of how ibp is making a difference in the context of connectivity or data sourcing when we compare to ecc and apo is that clear questions here for me uh, the, the one question here so we have okay. in the apo let's say sip right um, core interface frameworks where you can that uh, data transfer so in ibp platform how this that will be working is that the same kind very of the application integration goes or very good question yeah so uh, may know who is it suresh right yeah 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 so that's a very good question so yes basically uh, we use we had a cif correct so in the context of uh, sap ibp so here we have two important things what we are going to speak about one is cpids and the other one is called as sdi so oh, SDI if you remember okay. Yeah, here CPDS stands for Cloud Platform Integration Data Services. Whereas SDI stands for Smart Smart Data, data Integration. Integration. So these are the two different capabilities what SAP is using, SAP IBP is using in order to connect through these systems. Now. Okay. The, the the intention and the the way how this oriented are in which case do we use cpids in which case do we use sgi we are going to understand further when we deep dive so before that we need to understand that cpids is a very powerful tool by itself it's, 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 it itself is a platform why it is called as a platform it's just not an integration device but it's a platform cloud platform why because it has multiple offerings so when we speak about a cloud as an integration capability so there, there are a lot of different things what it is going to offer you so that we have to also understand about it so there are uh, so when we go for further more deep dive about it like for example when when we say the three tier architecture how comfortable are you with this three tier architecture i think all of you three uh, you know this right yes. so Maybe I added the drawing, but sorry, but just understand this. So, what are the three layers? Can you someone tell me? What is the question? The three tire architecture of SAP. What so, we uh, have. Uh, uh, the database, uh, the application, and the presentation. Perfect. Database, application, and presentation. Superb. Now, how this data architecture is enriched in this new era of cloud technology, let us try to understand. So if I say, if I how to slice this, the three data architecture uh, into the new framework, we have something like EAAS, A, A, A. S and S A A S. Can someone tell me the abbreviation for this? Any idea? Product as a service. Yeah. Sorry. Product as a service. It's Product platform as a service. Platform. Sorry. Platform as a service. Application as a service and software as a service. Awesome. And yes, software as a service. Super. So let me speak about this platform as a service. So you might have seen Amazon Web Services, people are using AWS, Microsoft Azure, right? These are the different cloud service providers. So what are they trying to do? What are they trying to really make the client easy? What are they trying to simplify? We need to understand this. And for that, we need to understand what is this platform as a service. Okay. So we know with our previous experiences with the basis people's what we what they do is like they have 
a very repetitive process of you know data sizing archiving data you know more maintenance of database at a high level or availability of data space is very commonly things what they used to do it manually every time and they used to maintain some maintenance activities as a point and they used to do this whole thing do you all agree hello yes yeah so this job it requires of course excess basis help or manual intervention at the same time would also require some downtime right sometimes you say planned downtimes sometimes you have unplanned downtimes so when it is a planned downtime or an unplanned downtime probably there was like multiple risks or multiple challenges that maybe your database is not up there may be you know certain different challenges you get in this process of updation and all so there were different challenges what we have experienced already in our previous sap's world right is sap as you know that ecc or r3 uh, uh, as the framework when they were so we had these challenges but with this new platform as a service so they give you to access to an infinite i would say or you know a limitless database access so the clients can now use the database of any high extent and the maintenance for them is completely removed from the client place it is it is now added by this third party so what would aws would do in that case amazon would would give you the offer to access his database which he is harvesting at a very huge level and access it and you can easily make your applications run easily so that's what we see it as platform as a service so they are giving you the platform to to store your database to, to store your so, one, data one in here. Here. so when mm -hmm. you say the platform as a service in the ibm context what we are going to get it is it a data storage you are talking about or the something else what does it mean for us in in ibp standpoint yeah in ibp point standpoint so it is about storing of data at cloud what is cloud by the by it has been a buzzword nowadays right cloud right what it could be what it could be so so we will be storing the database not into our internal uh, storage system so we will have the cloud providers so the, that is external service providers right so mm -hmm. that's where the cloud is come to the picture whether it is okay, what is advantage so which is, so, we, so we do not to take the ownership of all the activities maintenance as well as um, the cost of the um, hardware and software and everything right so the, it is a main purpose is the cost of optim optimization mm -hmm. so have you ever heard about this stuff yeah total ownership yeah, yeah very good yeah, someone had a question or maybe a point yeah please yeah uh, i think platform as a service is uh, it provides end to end solution so we will we will we'll park for a for a period of time right. about sap but let us try to understand about these three important differences how are they we are applying it to a general life examples okay so let us say if you are a developer and uh, you know that uh, the, the, now you know that cloud is a solution or a service where you are harvesting your database is done by the other service provider and you are not storing at your physical premises like maybe in your uh, in your servers in what we have spoke about but even if you take your example of your mails your mails are not stored in your on the device you agree there's a reason why you can access it from your phone from your mobile phone i mean uh, or maybe your uh, laptop or pc what wherever it is because it is stored at a cloud it is stored at some other place but you are able to access it right are, are we sure are we clear on this yeah so that means the the so called application called gmail which is essentially useful for you to communicate is storing the data at some other place but it is able to do something like you know convey that what is the information what you want to send it has it is able to send it so that's the very simple application let us speak about application as a service that means so here you are you are trying to give some tools 
for example, you, you know, you already have something like say a YouTube channel is there for you. Um, you have a wink as an application which you can use it to play a music and or something let us say. So if you want to combine something like this where you want to, you know, co-create, you want to, you know, make your own uh, play, you know, uh, music playing application and which can be co-shared by some other people. In that case, application as a service will help you. In this, it gives you the op options of modifying or making your application easily uh, created or easily customized. So in that case, use it as application as a service. So when you do this, what happens? So the, 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 the overall time which is needed for me in order to build a service, it, it, it is getting reduced. As however, when I given a platform as a service, so uh, as how it is reducing my overall maintenance time and maintenance cost, uh, which I which I used to do it in a and it was an on premise, how it has redu reduced. So this application as a service is a next level, wherein I am able to make my uh, services or where I am able to manage my overall service uh, or overall my application at an ease with a very shorter duration. That's the application as a service. Similar to what a YouTube does, you want to also create your own application. Okay, but it's something specific to you. It is red in color. YouTube uh, icon is red in color. I want to keep it into pink. I want to keep it into you know, some other color. So I can do that. I can modify it. And, and accordingly, I can use that service. Uh, maybe there is no option called my previous history, my, my previous uh, songs played, but I can get it added something like that. So in that way, I can add my application to be enriched according to my need. And that is very easily I can do it. So that's how your application as a service would work. Is it, are you able to make it out? What is the, the, the difference they are bringing up in the context of service? Application as a service and platform as a service so far, are we clear? Yeah. Right. Coming to a software as a service. So you don't nowadays, you know, yeah, there are multiple apps which are already created and you can easily when you take your mobile phone, maybe your app store or maybe you know your Google Play or whatever it is like the, the, the place where you can install or easily access the apps and you just install it. So you really don't have to create the from the scratch now. You can just subscribe to it, right? Sorry, someone is speaking in between. Can I continue or any questions? Yeah, continue. Yeah. So software as a service is another option where you're trying to easily access the service and subscribe to it. And if you do not need it, you can unsubscribe to it. So that's the software as a service, right? So out of this, where does this Amazon, which is providing for us the database harvest and we are running our SAP application, it falls under platform as a service because we are still creating our own, you know, uh, say transaction codes, we are trying to build our own the way how the SAP works, it is still the same. So you're just utilizing the platform there. You're going to utilize the database, but rather you're not going to take a complete whole service from there. That's not the case. So we are at a platform as a service level where we are trying to and take the, the cloud services in the context of storage, and we are utilizing our SAP to run on the cloud. So that's the very important difference what we are able to see when we compare it with ECC and API as a box when we had it is on an on-premise solution it was so where it has it didn't had so many challenges to connectivity also because it was within the SAP system only but now it is also a very important aspect now because you're connected to different systems you need to connect to different systems now so it is more customer centric markets now you do you need to now connect to say an XML system files like you know a website let us say so going forward, when we are going to speak about the models of SAP IBP demand planning, you would see that, uh, you know, uh, the SAP is now already, it has already provided a standard uh, APIs, application platform integration tools. So, uh, so I'm sorry, uh, APIs, application program interfaces, where we are trying to get it inter, you know, interface with Facebook, LinkedIn, right? Um, and Twitter, these are the like already SAP is doing it. Already people, are, the clients are already able to connect to these systems. So you may get astonished, like because these are all not even not database systems which have the structured data, right? So what are you post? You you add a picture, you comment it, you give some emojis and all. These are all unstructured data, right? We are clear with this terminologies: structured and unstructured data. 
right? All the table entries, what you see, your Mara, Marsha table, something like that. It's, it's a structured data. It's very easy for you to access it. It's very easy for you to understand it. How about this unstructured data? It's not that easy. The way of its processing is different, but SAP is now able to connect to those systems also. So that's the power now it has. That's the very essential change now the SAP is able to bring up. So that's SAP IBP. It has more data integration capabilities to be added. That's the reason why we have a CPIDS as a platform, but just not as an only one single aspect of just integration, but as a platform which gives us the offerings of different things. We will we will see about more about our CPIDS. What are the different offerings it gives us? So, yeah. yeah. Any questions? So far, so good. Okay. So, as I said, that we will firstly go with gap analysis sessions first, and followed by the training contents and user stories. So, you will receive the training contents by my coordination team by end of the day. And yeah, uh, when we come to this gap analysis sessions, we will start with the architecture. So in the, in the next session, which we have planned for you, we will speak about the architecture. So how SAP IBP is built, what are the, you know, the, the important staging tables, what it has, how it is going to work. Those are all the details I'm going to explain. And then we will also have a look about how, uh, you know, IBP system looks like, what is the web interface of it, what is the Excel interface of it, how it is different and different other different important topics have been packed for you in our next sessions so we plan it um, on saturdays and sundays in the morning ist time zones yeah uh, will you be taking care of uh, how the conversion happens when you are migrating when a customer is migrating from apo to ibp what are the mm -hmm. uh, that part are you covering APO yeah, to IBP, are you speaking about brownfield uh, yeah, implementation? Yeah, brownfield, yeah. Okay, I, I, brownfield I'll, I will touch hybrid. with them. Hybrid also, okay, I'll touch yeah. with them, sure, okay. Yeah. So are we are we going to just give a hands up on that what, what we would be covering in terms of the DP and uh, SOP? We just wanted to get into the, uh, rather than we going into more related the way now. So just if you can just bring what we are going to cover in the DP side as well as in um, SOP. Then yeah. it will be. Ah, okay, so the training contents narrates the topics that you will go through. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. And uh, the, the outcome of the uh, delivery from a training point of view, uh, I mean, you know, will you be able to share um, business blueprint uh, documents, configuration documents? Configuration document is listed there, uh, the cookbooks, uh, the business blueprint document. No, no, we don't do that. So important configuration documents here, what I mean is in the context of IBP, please, you know, business blueprints will be, will be given to you anywhere. You cannot expect that. Uh, can you share? Can you share some? It's it's not be any client specific information. You can remove it just for the understanding of the process and how that mapping and everything is done. So for us to be, you know, get a feel of uh, the things. If you can include that, if possible, it will be great. Okay, uh, we'll keep it as a still an open point. Yeah, you can, you can just you can just. I mean, you know, also, also the uh, from a from a implementation standpoint of view, I believe that greenfield, brownfield, and bluefield or hybrid. Uh, I think it will be at value add if we can touch base on on those aspects as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll I'll touch base them. Only once you are yeah. clear with this architecture and how IBP works, how it runs, and all. After that, we will you know go to that next level. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because you don't, I don't want it to confuse first. You know, because the the way how they work, there are different tools which SAP is providing for you in that front. Like you have Blue Prism and all different other tools which are being used when you are trying to you know uh, make a brownfield implementation from APO to IBP uh, as a standpoint. So we will really speak them. We will park as of now. But as we progress with the sessions, once we complete our the over the topics of integration capabilities of SAP, then I think then I will start involving those topics additionally. Yeah. 
Okay. Any other questions for me? How do we progress with the sessions? Is I, as I said, that it, it requires all the gap analysis sessions first. So this is a place where you'll you'll know more about me, and I will try to know more about you people. And then of course, we'll try to make it more interactive by its nature. It will be a more interactive sessions. Yeah. Okay. If no other questions for me, so I would say I will stop sharing my screen. And I first to thank all of you for joining this call and being very patiently hearing me all this time. And yeah, we'll call off this day and you can reach out to my coordinator uh, for also for the training content document and also uh, for any other questions if you have. So our sessions would be progressing from Saturday IST time zones, as I said, maybe 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. IST is the time, what uh, two slots, what I can would give you. So if you have a bandwidth of say three hours per day, so it will be 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Or it would be if you say that two hours is sufficient for us, so it will cover four hours of a week. So you can say from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. So this is the current slot what we can start from, okay? Uh, with schedule, Saturdays only or twice a week or twice a week? Only on Saturdays and Sundays. Only on Saturdays twice. and Sundays. Saturday and Sundays, correct. Same Saturday time, Sundays. Saturday. Yeah. IST. Yes, correct, correct, yes. Okay. And how many hours, sir, we, uh, total hours? It would, it would take around 25 to 30 hours of duration. Okay. And it's not a fixed number because every aspirant come with a different gap analysis sessions topics. So we don't give it a fixed number, but the range is around 25 to 30 hours of duration. And as you come with SAP backgrounds, I think you don't have so much of uh, intervention with how the screen would look like and all. It's easy for you people to realize and all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If no other questions for me, we will call up the day. Any questions further? Okay. So thank you once again to all of you who has joined this class. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir.